Hello summoners and summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Shen top lane game. So as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up the D-Shield health potion as well as warding totem. I am Gordon Gluck have fun with a capital I am Go Ardan apparently. But I believe I'm against a Gragas because he's bringing teleport and normally you see TPs up in the top lane. So luckily enough for me, I am on that Shen, so I already have a can't call it teleport, but I have my ultimate, obviously, so I have the global pressure to match the Gragas there, which allowed me to bring Ignite to the lane, which might make my lane a little bit easier, but then again, it'll still probably be pretty hard to take down a tanky Gragas with his new changes to him. And other than that, it's probably, honestly, going to be a pretty boring lane unless the junglers get involved, whether Udyr comes up or Lee Sin comes up on my team, so it should be pretty interesting once the junglers get level 3 and if they both meet each other at the top lane. Alright, so just waiting in the bush here in the river, waiting for any possible action. Probably not going to invade. Doesn't look like we are, doesn't look like they might. We do see their karma. Ooh, did she hit that? Alright, so here's Gragas. I'm going to go ahead and auto attack him and put my Q on him. So it pretty much guarantees me that regen passive. And I'm going to see if I can get another auto or a Q off on him. Oh, well, so I actually got some free damage off on him. He'll probably help them with blue buff, considering their bot lane is out and about aggressing onto ours. So it tells me he did start blue, because Galio did come over from their blue side as well. So he's more than likely going to regen it back up with his passive. But actually, he's still pretty chunked, so that's nice for me here. Going to just throw a Q on him, and constantly keep up the pressure on him. And now that I know Udyr started with that blue buff... I now have the availability to kind of try and go aggressive, or really aggressive once Lee Sin gets here to land. Accidentally missing that CS unfortunately. Hitting him with my key strike there and a Q on him so I get all the health back and I did a decent amount of damage to him there so that's very nice. And obviously he started body slam and he actually opted for the flask 3 start so he's going to be very healthy in the lane and not really give a hoot about any of these uh, Q's I'm throwing at him to try and harass him down. Hitting level 2, I'm going to go ahead and take my taunt just in case the Lee Sin wants to try and opt in for a gank here. And once he does come, hopefully I can hit a taunt. I want to try and taunt once Body Slam is off cooldown for this guy. So I don't take too much damage from him. And a good trade by the Gragas there. So now instead of throwing Q's at him, I'm going to throw Q's at creep and get the health back from the passive of my Q there. And it is better to actually not last at the creep and then get a few autos with a Q on the creep because overall you'd gain more health that way. Wow, Udyr actually came back top. Alright, so I'm just going to taunt him and bring him to the tower. I get out of that gank pretty easy, but I did take a decent amount of damage. So it looks like Udyr... I don't know if he actually soloed his red and they like played it off like he was doing blue. But that was a nice job out of the enemy team there. I might... Oh, I thought I was going to get body slam there. Alright, so I'm going to hit level 3 and just take my faint here, so now I have some damage reduction against this Gragas here. So we both actually have damage reduction, which is kind of funny, so it's going to be a wet noodle fight for the most part up here. 14 to 18, he is out CSing me, but I do have the rest of this wave as well, so we should be pretty much tied if I get every CS here. And meanwhile, wow, I don't know how I just missed that CS. I'm going to go ahead and pop W right before he breaks his cask on me so I don't get too harassed. Wow, good damage coming out of the Gragas there. First blood coming out for the enemy team, unfortunately. But meanwhile, while I, what I was trying to say was when I got ganked, the whole time Lee Sin was just farming up jungle, which was... It's good for him, so he's ahead of the Uder a little bit, but, you know. It is an early game Lee Sin. Maybe he could have tried to help me out a little bit, or another lane for that matter. Again, shielding the Gragas barrel there, not doing pretty much any damage to me whatsoever here, and fat ass Gragas stood on a creep so I couldn't uh, cue it with my blade there, unfortunate. Oh, almost, what the heck, dude, this guy is so fat I can't even hit the creep. He took a tower shot though, so that's pretty nice. Going to block most of the damage, return damage from Gragas there with my faint. And we'll throw a Vorpal Blade on this target and then get a few autos off on it. That'll give me some good HP back gonna go ahead and throw up the faint but he ends up not popping the cask just trying to do a lot of damage to the creep wave there and we'll 
Wow, he's even denying me CS. This guy's pretty good at Gragas. He body slams right when I go in for the last hit there, so... He knows what he's doing, I could tell. Alright, gonna go ahead and... Ooh, I think I messed it up. No, I didn't. Alright, so we're losing a few CS here and there to the tower, which is fine for me. I'm still surviving the lane against this Gragas. And he's just all out pushing, so I could probably call for some help and maybe pick up a kill on him here, if they so choose to help me out. And I really don't see me dying ever in this lane. Like I said, he has teleport and he pretty much has no damage. He's just going to constantly be a nuisance and shove me in here. So as long as the other lanes win and I go even, we should be good here. Alright, gonna hit 6 off this wave so I'll have the pressure of my ultimate, but I need to be careful of his body slam as well as his ult. They can interrupt my channel for my ultimate, so... Definitely want to make sure to get that off in a safe place. Alright, hitting the target there with Q, getting some health back here. And we will just last hit her up. And let the tower hit that. Real. Okay. So I suck at last hitting, we, we learned that today. Oh wow, I was late. Late to the taunt there to stop Gragas from going back. But I'm just going to get this wave and then I'm going to go back. I don't want to shove it because it actually is still shoving in favor of him here, so I pretty much can freeze it. I'm going to go back right now, actually. Oh, wow, he teleported up. Damn. I forgot about that. Good play by him. So he went back and bought and got everything he wanted and then just teleported back to his tower. So now it's a 200 second cooldown. No TP. And he comes back with a Sheen, so he is... And five potions? This guy really doesn't want to die ever. That's a little excessive in my opinion, but... Whatever you gotta do, man. Alright, so again, I'm losing some CS here and there to the tower, which sucks. And... I really need someone to cover my lane, because I want to go back and spend, because he has that teleport up on me, so... That's a siege wave. I can't go back. I'm gonna taunt, and no, I didn't get in range for the creep there. I need help in the top lane. I'm just gonna spam ping until someone comes and covers. Because right now, the fact that he has Sheen for free on me, and I can't back, he's getting so much out of it. I'm gonna lose that caster minion. Yep. Yeah, this guy's playing lane really well, so I can tell he knows what he's doing. I barely got my feint off before that body slam in, so I was able to reduce all the damage it did there. And we just wait. It looks like Lee Sin's finally coming up. And once he does come, I'm just going to back. I don't even want to try and fight this guy. I just want the ability to go back. Alright, so got that CS. Going to miss that CS. This tower has taken probably 30 CS, which sucks for me. Come top lane. Alright, I'm just going to back and force this Lee Sin to come. I don't even care. And he can cover it all he wants. Get the XP so he doesn't miss out. What do I want to build is the question. I'll probably build first item Spirit Visage. That's pretty good. And then we'll go Boots and some Potions as well. Just now, I pretty much can't take any damage from the Gragas. Anything he does is going to be negligible. Nice juke with Safeguard there by Lee Sin. But the passive of my Q as well as the Spectre's Cowl is going to be very beneficial to me here. Alright, 54-68 is the CS score. And it's really been a stale lane, honestly. Wow, another death for our Thresh. 0 and 3, so. Had I. I don't know if. I probably could have vaulted there. I wasn't looking, but. It looks like he died under their tower, so I think he just made a misplay and uh, got picked off for it, so. Oh, shit. Okay, so. Leeson's here. He's, he's forced the Gragas all out of him. And I didn't even know he was there, but. Gragas all down, so. That's good. I should probably pay attention to the map when I play Shen. That'd be a good idea. Alright. Yeah, you suck. No, I'm just kidding. I know this guy, so I can call him out on it. But yeah, he is the only deaths on our team. But it's not that big of a deal. It's all on the bot lane, so it hasn't been against me, so I don't really care. But Gragas is definitely Mia. I think Leeson sent him back, and... Now they're trying to do dragon. I have all available, and we could contest this, in my opinion. Oh, he teleported in again? What the f- 
Has it really been 200 seconds? That sucks. Alright, so they get Dragon, and they have pressure on the map. We might get a kill on the Udyr. I need to pay attention with my alt, see if I need to alt anyone here. And if I do, I'm ready for it, because I'm staring at everybody. And whenever you're about to alt, you need to manage your energy so you don't get... You don't alt in with no energy. That'd be really awkward. Gonna go ahead and throw my alt down onto the Lee Sin here, and we'll get a taunt on a threat, or Gragas here. Unfortunately, the Thresh did go down in the end. I'm incredibly deep. I want this Gragas. Force him to heal, and Galio comes, so I should be fine to just walk off. And I'll live another day. They're gonna... That was obvious. They were gonna flash. Damn. Galio ran straight to the wall and did nothing otherwise. Alright, so they blow alts on me. I'm just gonna taunt away, and I'll live without having to do anything here. So... They wasted a lot trying to kill me there, and I don't know, I don't think we can fight this actually, unfortunately. Damn, man. Everyone died when it was like really obvious. Oh! <laughs> you can't taunt this wall, apparently. This wall is thick as fuck. Hmm, should I back? What? Thrush flashed the wall and then just missed a hook, and then, okay. That's not looking good. One for... A one for three exchange because of a missed flash hook classic. Yeah, Sam is awful. Damn, five deaths. <laughs> There's nine deaths in the game. He's doing pretty good. That's actually really funny. All right, I'm going to go back, pick up the Kindle Gem, get some CDR and some more health, and we'll build that into a Spirit Visage here. Actually, should I go Bubble? If I'm going bubble, then I just bought this item for no reason, and that'd be really awkward. Nope, I have to go Spirit Visage now that I committed to the uh, Kendall Gem here. But 3 to 9 is the score, and they got everything they wanted. They got a dragon, a tower, and a bunch of kills, because sloppy team fighting OP. Alright, I'm just getting all the last hits here, trying to get myself kind of back into the game here. And. Hopefully, I don't have damage to kill it. No, oh, got it. Worth. Alright, so hopefully we can get into late game here and really scale up. That's about our only blessing here, but their bot lane is really fit. What? This guy got double buffs? This sucks. Okay, so he's got Frozen Gauntlet, or Ice Point Gauntlet, rather. And he he's going with the typical Bruiser AP uh, Gragas in the top lane here, where you just... Never really die. I can't kill him for one. 1v1. One one. Alt in 40. You're gonna tell my team my alt is up soon. And I know Gragas doesn't have teleport, so there's that to look forward to. And I'm gonna miss all these creep, because tower is OP. Looks like Ziggs is gonna die here, unfortunately. Oh, the calling absolutely whiffing, so never mind. He gets to live another day. Alright, this guy's gonna maybe body slam me. Maybe not. Alright, I'm just going to auto here and get the creep down so I can get my key strike up. The more you auto, the quicker it comes back up for you. And we will cue that creep. And you have to auto the next creep there because the tower will not... Or you, the tower will kill it, rather, if you don't auto because Shen has no damage on his auto attacks here. And we'll bring this to the tower and see how well we can do as well. I got to cue that. Oh, I did not mean to auto. Unfortunately, I autoed, so I wasted that tower hit. And now we can bring it to the tower. Or not. Alright, I have my alt available to me, so I'm going to look to make a play with the alt here. I'm maxing my faint second here, so I try and reduce any possible damage coming out of the Gragas here. He's really just sitting in the lane doing whatever he pleases, which is annoying to me because I can't do anything about it, but that's just the nature of the lane, and especially because he got two free kills. Alright, whenever he comes up, I want to try and hit him with some damage here, just so he doesn't always feel free to just do whatever he wants in the lane. Alright, gonna get... Oh, only two out of three again. I keep missing CS here and there because the tower. OP. So he just used his body slam. He might die here. And I'm just going to hold on to my taunt last second here, and then we'll taunt him up. Whoa, we kind of wasted 
both our taunt and kick here, but I think we'll be able to catch on to this guy pretty easily here. Nice Lee Sin Q. I'll toss the ignite on him. That should be enough to pick him up in the end. And Lee Sin actually ends up getting the kill, so not too bad there. And apparently, action happened again. I think just Sam died again, the Thresh here, so no big deal there. He's not worth anything. Alright, so apparently he wanted Ignite to get the kill, but I couldn't get it because I'm bad. And the game hates me. But at least Gragas did go down in the end. And I think double buffs... Nope, only... No buffs actually transferred over. That's unfortunate. So Gragas' double buffs just wore off in the end there. I'm looking bot. Gonna go ahead and alt the Caitlyn here. Save his life, more than likely. And we'll come in and see if we can get... We'll taunt... Ooh, she actually flashes the taunt there, so... Good flash out of the Karma here. I'm going to look to still chase this. Gragas is coming in with his teleport here, so we need to get out. And I'm just going to act like a body here and just try and get in the way of everybody. And nice! The Lee Sin actually picks up a kill in the end. And I'm here taunting the Galio. Should be able to pick him up with a Q and an auto attack as well. Good chain or good exchanges for the team here. Got to break that leash out of the Karma here. And once I have my taunt back up, or I could just auto her to death. That's cool too. And Gragas is really going in, being a nuisance against our team here. Maybe I can save... Nope, she's dead. That's unfortunate there, but in the end, he's getting a lot of kills here. And we'll see if I can taunt onto the solution here. I do connect with it, and he has red buff, however. Why would you come back in? You're crazy, man! Alright, I think I can take this guy. I have faint and keys up, so maybe we can get him. He's trying to orb walk to the best of his ability here. And... We'll see, can I taunt him again? Yes, so that will be a pickup kill for me here. Easy there, so I got three kills there. Pretty good for me, and oh shit. Oh shit, I think I'm out, I think I'm out. I have taunt available to me, and we actually have teleport, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm actually gonna miss the taunt, but their least Sin's pretty deep here, and he's trying to kill me, I really can't die. I'm not afraid of him. And if Lee Sin can connect the next Q, nope, Karma shows up to aid him, so he walks away there. And 9 to 15 is the score. 301 is my score. So I'm having a pretty good game. 3,000 gold in my name. I'm absolutely huge. Gonna go back, pick up a Giant's Belt, Warden's Mail, and finish my Spear Visage. Galio takes my top tower as a return for all this craziness that happened in the bot lane. Oh, and 40, letting my team know I have alt soon. Dragon is up. They're probably gonna try and take it here. Everyone's really, really weak. Oh man, our Thresh got a kill, so he's actually worth money again, which is like the worst thing that could have happened for our team here. Alright, I got a big wave in the top lane. I'm just going to try and actually freeze it out here and not let anyone come top and get anything out of it. So the Galio actually stepping up, trying to fight me here. He pops his ult as well. He forgets that I have red buff and I take zero damage from AP, so... Little interesting choices out of him. He actually heals to escape and put the MS buff on him. Galio no heal, so... Or alt. So that's actually really big for us now that Galio just used everything on me and didn't even get a summoner spell out of it. I have my alt up. I need to watch, see who I need to alt here. Nice uh, steal out of the Lee Sin there. I'm not going to alt Thresh. He's not worth any anything to me at this point. And we might be having to alt our ADC here. I'm going to alt the AD right as he flashes. That's pretty awkward. Let's see if we can get on to, uh, get on to anyone here. So Lucian is up here. I might try and flash taunt him here. See if I can get that. Alright, so I got the flash taunt. And that was a free kill for us there. I was actually... <laughs> I was afraid I was going to miss it there. Legit. I, I've had some interesting flash taunts in my history here. But we were able to pick that up. Galio is here. I have red buff. I'm going to try and, you know, I'm just going to take him off of our blue buff here. And we'll just zone him out of it. So free blue for, should be a free blue for our team here. Unless we really can uh, pick that up. It looks like we are going to pick that up though. So good job out of the team there. I'm not sure of the kill exchanges. I think everyone got away except Thresh. So two for one in favor of us and a dragon. So... Slight comebacks for us in this game here. It looks like Caitlyn's getting aggressed on here. Will she get out? Yes, she will. And they might pick up a kill on Karma. Nicely done. Again, out of the team. Just 
picking up advantages here and there. Bot is huge. There's a massive wave in the bot lane, and our Thresh died again, so that puts him up to nine deaths here. Not good at all. This guy's going to chase me all the way, isn't he? All right, I'm going to go bot. I don't want to waste any of the CS. No mind, i got to stay mid and defend. Ziggs is going bot. Should be able to stop them there. I missed the taunt, unfortunately. Oh, damn, this Lee Sin is a god. Unfortunately, I can't follow up with a kill. My taunt was on cooldown. What? Ziggs didn't go bot? No, we lost the free tower bot because no one went. Damn. That sucks. Someone go get that wave, please. That's so big. All right, I have enough for Reno and Zoman here, so I'm going to pick that up. And do they have a lot of CC? They do have a lot of CC on their team, so I'm probably going to go with Merc Treads here. Picking up the Null Magic Mantle, and then going to tell my team 35 on alt. And then once we pick up Merc Treads, should be good to go and just build straight damage, honestly, from here. I don't think I can die. They don't have a lot of burst damage on their team. Gragas, he doesn't really burst damage anymore. He's not building that AP heavy Galio, in my opinion, doesn't do that much to me because I have Spear of Sage already. And I have Randowins now for the Lucian and Uder, so I'm not too worried about taking much damage here. And Uder's red buff did wear off, so I'm not... I would have been worried if he had the true damage out of red to fight me, but he does not. And he only has four Feral Flare stacks, so I'm pretty sure I can just sit here and contently fight him. <laughs> he does, like, negative damage to me here. Oh, I hit the taunt. I don't think I'll pick him up, though. He's... It's an Udyr. Like, you can't chase an Udyr with blue buff. It's impossible. Have my ult available. Looking on the map. Do I need to ult anyone is the question. I really would like to not ult bot lane. So we'll see if they get in trouble here. It doesn't look like they're going to, so... Yo, you're Ziggs. You can wave player, baby. Alright, so I should be able to get a free tower top. Just wave clear mid or ult it. Let's see if Ziggs has enough mana to actually ult. She should have enough mana to throw an ult and clear the wave, so... They're diving her here. I'm going to go ahead and drop the ult on her. And Galio taking massive amounts of damage to the tower here. Hit them both with a taunt here. But Ziggs is oom, so he can't really do anything. Unfortunately, but Ziggs still lives to see another day, so... Not bad for me there. Taunts up in one second flat, but I can't do anything about it. And these guys need to really leave. They got a kill. Nicely done. Two kills. And they might get more out of it. I have to go top and stop Uder from taking this tower here. He's going to get massive damage on it. If not the whole thing, actually. So we're... As of right now, I think we're getting out-rotated. Unless we get another kill on Lucian here. And that's really big. I'm just going to taunt the wall and show Uder that I'm here. Hopefully force him off. Okay, so that actually worked, surprisingly. I thought he'd honestly just... He could have stayed and killed the tower. There was nothing I could have done to stop him, but luckily my presence was enough to scare the big bad the big bad man bear pig over here. So he's trying to all in me here. He pops the uh, Blade of the Rune King on me. There's no, like, <laughs> I'm too tanky, man. I don't get why people think they can kill me here, so. Our Thresh does go down in the end again. Nothing that unusual there. He's going to die to a Q. Oh, that safeguard was so small. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go anywhere with that. Uder actually stays top and more than likely going to take that unfortunately because I left. I shouldn't have left. And we lose towers all across the map because that Zig's surrounded on. He's going down. And it's not looking good for us at all. We got a lot of advantages back. Got a lot of towers in the bot lane and kills but then it looks like they just stayed too long and got really greedy with it. Caitlyn's going back, so that's another mid tower for them. Can't defend that. Hopefully we can defend the inhib tower here. I don't want... Wow, I missed that. I don't want to have to go mid. Hopefully they can just back off. So it looks like they do back off. Galio's sticking around. I'm not worried about him pushing. I doubt he will. And I'll just pick up my golems while I await for the uh, next team fight here. Oh, and 30, letting my team know. Nice kick back, and that's a kill on a Galio. That was pretty big for us here. And like I said, they can afford to go pretty hard on Galio and Gragas because they don't really have any burst damage. So they just have a lot of sustained utility damage as well. All right, hopefully your team survives. Uder's going in, just destroying the Thresh there, and he's going in after Caitlyn. Caitlyn got a kill, so she'll 
trade one for one goes down. Ziggs might be caught out here. I don't know if I'm going to alt him. She, looks like she's able to just walk away. Got the minefield going down, so Karma can't really pursue anymore. And the rest of her assailants did just drop off of her, so saved my alt there, luckily enough for me. And I, st I still think she's fine. I could alter her last second. Okay, so she flashed. And maybe if I ulted her, she wouldn't have had to flash. But I honestly prioritized my ult over her flash. So just because I can use my ult on anyone, really. I'm building towards a Trinity Force now because I need to get some damage on me. And it'll help me with my split push so I can clear the wave a little bit faster here. If I so choose to split push. I feel like they're on Baron and we're not doing anything about it. Okay, they're not. So their jungler is actually invading our jungle with no mana to his name. Oh, I wanted to keep chasing that. I was going to try and flash taunt him. But, oh, is he at dragon? Oh, it's already gone. <laughs> That's awkward. Alright, Gragas just warded that there. And I get the feeling out of their team, they never really want a 5v5. Because they're actually kind of afraid of us. Just by the way, they always have one man split pushing for some reason. So I'm going to check our red, see if it's here. It is up still, so I don't know if I should take this or at least Sin should take this. One of us should just get this off the map because otherwise they would take it eventually because we have zero towers on the map. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Whatever. I'm taking it now because nobody else wants it. Thresh, don't do it. <laughs> for some reason, I felt like he was going to try and take that there. And Lisa actually catches out Galio. That should be a kill. I don't need to rotate over. And Gragas and I are just doing battle. The wet noodle fight, like I said earlier. I got red buff on him, though. He's got the <laughs> Iceborne Gauntlet, and I got red buff. So a bunch of nothing happening here. Karma is very deep against the Ziggs here. So might be able to pick her up in the end. I do connect the taunt just barely. And that should be a kill for us. Nice. She flashed right before she died as well. Gonna pop Rando and try and save the Caitlyn here. And she life steals just enough so I don't have to alter. Fantastic. Two pickup, three pickup kills for our team here. So 19 to 23 is the score. Very, very nicely done out of the team. And it looks like we're finally getting a top tower. So some more global gold coming in for the team. I'm 180 farm. Not the most in the game. Honestly, I think this is a pretty bad farming game some people might say oh you're doing good but I lost both my towers just from somebody always being in the lane so I couldn't really always farm and when you do alt you do give up a lot of your farm normally as Shen so I'm saying I'll say I'm having an okay game I think honestly I should be at like 220 230 right now and then obviously your prime would be 280 right now if you're a god but I am no such thing so I got my phage, gonna go ahead and buy the Amplifying Tome component of Sheen here. Sheen on Shen. I just always get confused when I try and say that stuff. But, again, you saw it like, I don't have to build any more tankiness. They're not focusing me, and even if they do, I can negate a lot of their damage here, so... Getting that Trinity Force is the optimal buy for me. Maybe a Wit's End would have been better, with uh, them having double AP. I don't know why we are so far out here. This is... Actually, this isn't that bad. I'm going to go ahead and taunt in, hit two members of their team. Gragas gets blown up, and there's the kill onto him. So, nice or Talisman of Ascension coming out. I have taunt available to me. Can I get it is the question, and we'll go over the wall. Miss the uh, Lucian here, but I hit him with the red buff proc, slowing him down there. And I'm not going to... I don't want to pop my uh, flash here, so I'm going to see... Wow, fail. He used both the summoners, but our Caitlyn's just ending the game. I'm going to alt Caitlyn and see if we can just end the game here. Caitlyn's backdooring. I'm coming in. We take one Nexus Tower. We take the second Nexus Tower. And let's teleport out of Lee Sin coming in. This should be the game here. GG. What the hell happened? Wait, wait, wait. Stay, stay, stay. I don't take damage, dude. No, what the f... Lee Sin, you betrayed me. All right, I have to flash and then uh, taunt out. What the f... What the fuck? Dude, we could have won the game, but he left. I got slowed. Oh, am I dead? Am I dead? No, I'm not. My faint. It's OP, and I get out. Holy shit. Oh, we sent one over the wall. He's going for the game. There's no way he gets this. He gets picked off 
by the enemy karma here. I thought that was the game, man. I thought we were making plays, but we did get an inhib for free, so... Oh, that was hilarious, actually. What the hell? I think if everyone committed to it, we could have had it, though. Got their nexus to below half health. It's regening up now, but... We do have the best inhib in the game, the bot lane inhib, as far as Baron pressure goes, so... That's good for us here. A little trolley. I honestly thought it was over, though. That would have been an epic, epic comeback. Caitlyn just sat bot lane the whole time while we were fighting. And she got two... No, we got three turrets out of that, so that was crazy. They might be at Baron right now. And I'm okay with them taking Baron, but we there's no way... Caitlyn was down and... Lee Sin was down, so I didn't even want to try and look at Baron, and Caitlyn's gonna get caught and die here, which was the uh, mistake of checking it on her own. It was honestly gone. We had no, no chance at taking. So now he's on a big death timer again, and they look to just be pushing down mid here, so I do have to rotate over. Don't have my alt. You didn't know they were doing it. <laughs> Everybody was off the map. Okay, so they were actually backing. Lucky for us. And right now I'm just farming up till I get my... Wow, I'm so bad at last hitting. I'm farming up till I get my Trinity Force here. And hopefully once I get that, I'll be able to stick on targets a lot better here. And another death for Thresh. Bump him up to 13 this game. I think he's just trying to see how many deaths he can get in one game. I don't blame him. Sometimes you just have that, that feel, you know. He's just gonna say... He's trying to say how many deaths he can... Yep. Intention. Just because he's gonna, he had a bad lane, I bet, so now he's making it no game just to try and say, oh no, I wasn't really trying, you know. And I just missed three out of three last hits there, so that's pretty, pretty good there. I have enough for my Trinity Force now, so I'm gonna go back for it. Have all oh, mind gaming them up, he says. By me never being on the map, they're gonna make aggressive plays, and <laughs> they're gonna end up throwing the game. Classic. I'm a split bot. I have ward available, when is your TP up? So if I split bot or like go over the wall secretly and then ward and have Lee teleport onto it, we could potentially have the x -Pec a but I, like that's like our last ditch effort. I don't ever want to actually do that, that'd just be dumb. Alright, yeah where are the wards at man? We're all of our jungles warded but we have none of theirs warded. Alright, so again, just going bot lane with my Trinity Force here, and the supers really forcing them into their base here, trying to create some pressure. And the inhib is actually respawning soon here, so need to watch out for that. Why are you... <laughs> Another death, death for Thresh, make that 14. And I'm paying attention with my ult. Oh shit, I might be caught here actually. I'm going to pop a randoins, that didn't even hit him. I'm going to dash out, as he dashes, I knew he was going to dash. I might be in trouble here. Lee Sin is off to the flank. I think I'm dead. They do a shitload of damage. Uh, safeguard, nice kick out of the Lee Sin. Probably saving my life here. And he absorbs most of it and then safeguards to me. The flash out from the Udir. Why did I go back in? It's the question of life and death. I'm dead. Our whole team's dead. I think that's the game. <laughs> I think we just lost the game. Our supers might re-get the inhib, that'd be huge. They're gonna get at least two inhibs out of here, because we keep fighting 4v5 because we never have a thresh, but... What can he do? And he just kills himself again. Classic. Classic Sam. <laughs> Alright, so we get aced again, because he respawns and just runs at them and dies. And... We can win still. We're all spawning really soon. I'm gonna buy a ward just so we have TP potential with Lee Sin. We're down two in Hibs. They might. Oh man, they're gonna shit on these towers with Udir and Lucian. They're tanking it up though. There's one tower. Oh, I think we can defend this. Ziggs ult coming out of him. I'm up. Oh my god, Ziggs just gets popped. And they're. Lucian. Taunting them up, blowing them up instantly, and their karma is trying to backdoor. So we should be able to kill everybody, hopefully. I'm going to pop a random and slow them all down. Udir gets a kill. He ends up not going down. And karma, hopefully, will go down here in the end. I think we fended them off for now. 
I need to buy home guard boots. Home guard boots. Home guard boots. Home guard boots. Yeah, we got the home guard sticking. Oh, that's on, on a karma. It connects. This should be another kill for the team here. And there's the red buff. They're all they're all dead. We can end the game. Let's end, man. Let's end. Alright, I have all. I'm gonna pop a ward down. I'm gonna ward Lee UTP and I ult to you later. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get to their <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to their board their base and drop a ward over the wall and have Leeson have the ability to teleport to that ward and then have me <laughs> teleport to him. There are no towers. <laughs> yeah, alright, so Oh shit, I got the ward down, the crucial ward. That's all we needed, baby. I'm gonna pop random to get this guy off of me, and then we'll uh, taunt out of here. Should be out. Got the classic ward down. I think someone's gonna buy a pink ward, honestly, to get rid of that. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright. For now, I'm just going to uh, kill the white camp here. Don't get rid of it. Don't get rid of it. Don't. No, they have a pink ward. GG, they got the pink. Alright, we've been shoving out on the mid as well as bot lane here. Oh, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. You're gonna get caught. Someone's gonna get caught here. I just saw someone on their team. Maybe not. Let's pick up, try and pick up blue before the enemy team comes here. I don't want it. I'd rather have someone like Caitlyn pick it up or something like that. But we do need to return to our base now that they are pressing in onto this mid lane here. And got the blue, and we'll just dip on out of here. Ooh, Udyr's here. Can we kill Udyr's the question. I have Rano and Zoman popping it, slowing him up. Gonna get the taunt, and that is a free kill for us. Absolutely huge. Karma is here, and the rest of their team is here as well. And I really just have to peel for the... Uh, oh shit, I really have to live is what I have to do. I gotta flash out. Oh, Caitlyn's dead. I'm gonna... Oh my god, I was gonna try and alter sooner, but uh... What? I didn't want to actually go in. No! I killed myself. No! How do you cancel your ult? I don't even know. Can you cancel your ult? That's the question of life and death. I just wanted to try and give Caitlyn a shield, but she got popped. And grab on to Galio. Won't matter. They have too many members up, so... GG out of the team. 527 my score. I honestly think we probably would have won if we didn't have our Thresh troll us, but... 16 when someone dies 16 times you're probably gonna lose the game so unfortunately we did loss <laughs> he says we're uh, unfortunately we did loss that's not even a word but or not grammar but apparently we were too heavy from the 2 and 16 thresh but if you like the video go and throw it a like i'll have all my other social media such as twitch twitter facebook as well as wins and masteries in the info box below for you guys and as always i'll see you all next time